want to know how to make sorrel well continue to watch this video if you're living in the u.s the best place to go get your sorrel is at a spanish market and they'll definitely have it there listed as jamaican dry flour or jamaican hibiscus flour or something like that because i was having a hard time finding this um sorrel yes it is dried so you can go to your nearest spanish store all right so the first thing you want to do is to put some water to boil that's the first thing next you're going to put your sorrel in a large bowl you know whatever the amount that you need you just put it into a large container i had a whole lot so as you can see i still have some in the bag um on the side yep i bought way too much next we're gonna wash our sorrel because of course we gotta wash our ingredients you never prepare anything without washing it and of course you need ginger so i'll be washing off you know all the dirt and i'm gonna also go ahead and grate her some of the um, ginger while i'm gonna also cut some into large chunks however you choose to do yours that's perfectly fine all right so let's go guys now on to the next step so now that the water um, is boiling we're gonna add the ginger and i'm gonna stir um, to make sure it's all over in the pot and I'm going to leave it to boil for about three minutes or so it's all up to you all right so we're on to the next step so I've added the sorrel to the pot of water with ginger and I'm giving it a stir um, as you can see this ginger is so rich um, it's very red if I had known, I would have used less sorrel. Some people prefer to leave their sorrel to soak in warm water. I prefer to boil mine. I think it is the same result. But at the end of the day, you do yours as you see fit. Same results. All right. So that's done. All right, guys. So now we're going to move on. So we're going to strain the um sorrel because of course we don't need the flower petals anymore we just need the juice um that we have produced that gingery sorrel um juice so as you can see i'm straining everything off back into this large bowl oh my god look how red this sorrel turned out i am still in awe of how rich it is so we're gonna may allow this to cool and then we're gonna sweeten now on to the final steps and these steps are crucial and you must follow these final steps to the t we're gonna add brown sugar to sweeten the sorrel brown sugar okay all right and then after sweetening we are going to go ahead and we are gonna add some red label wine okay authentic jamaican red label wine you add the amount that you wish to add to it okay and then the most important ingredient jamaican white rum j ray and nephew okay this is 63 percent alcohol so you decide so this is the final product a nice glass of rich sorrel so the sorrel drink is had throughout the year or whenever it's available but in jamaica we mainly have it at christmas time and this is had cold okay thanks for watching